Okay, this is a, uh, well first, excuse my voice, I'm getting over a bad cold or something here. So, This is a Heathkit SB303. It is the uh, solid state receiver that Heathkit came out with to go with the SB line, very often paired up with a SB400 or 401 transmitter, that sort of thing. It can work as a nice standalone receiver, um, auxiliary receiver to, um, to uh, stations that have an auxiliary port. This was uh, freshly refurbished. I retained the factory paint, cleaned it up well. It's had uh, just a few touch-ups. The radio's lived a pretty good life. You can see the uh, it's got that crinkle heath paint. And there's a spot or two that we custom blended paint to match, touch it up. It was uh, I thought it was better to leave the original paint alone rather than strip and repaint. The radio is in such good condition considering it's a 50-year-old radio. Anyway, I've got photographs that'll be up with this also that shows the interior. It was totally disassembled. Uh, all switches and uh, uh, controls clean, lubricated, VFO disassembled and uh, serviced. There was a few mods for this thing done over the years uh, that Heathkit came out with. All the mods are done. So just a quick test here. It's on 40 meters now. There's a contest of some sort going on. VFO's nice and smooth. It's got a fast and slow AFC, RF gain. Also an internal mute has a mute that does that whenever uh, you're in transmit mode if you have it paired to a transmitter. It actually has a bona fide RF attenuator that's adjustable. It's got places uh, where you can connect external uh, VHF and UHF uh, converters. This one does not have that. It's got the ports on the back. You do find those for sale from time to time. Uh, it has a standby op uh, mode, which is exactly what happens if you have a uh, key the microphone and you have the uh, mute port connected. It has a function in 125 kilohertz um, a marker, calibrator. Uh, you adjust a pointer once you uh, find the marker signal, pre-selector which is nice on these older rigs like this. It uh, really helps clean the front end up and uh, manage out-of-band interference. Uh, ready, upper, uh, lower side bend, upper side bend. It does have a CW filter. It does not have the AM filter. There, You find those around. It's got the port inside where the AM filter drops in place, but it does have uh, CW side bend, ready modes, all that. Um, and it's in uh, really extraordinary condition so um, that's uh, I'll post uh, I'll post some uh, photos of the whole uh, disassembly process and clean up and everything over on uh, um, my blog at wb4iui.blogspot.net is that dot net dot com it's my blogspot page if you go to wb4iui.net you'll see a blog spot link there you can just click that it'll take you straight to it okay there you go